Test. You're delightful. As You're in heaven. You made a dress out of my curtains? Oh. <clears throat> Bokertov, shalom. Bokertov means good morning, and shalom it can mean hello or peace. Um, when the Lord was there and the disciples were terrified, and you know, there was the wind and the waves and all that. Uh, well, where was the Lord? What was he doing? He was uh, He was sleeping, you know? I mean, that's what I'd be doing. Anyway, so he gets up and he says one word. I know in, in the Bible it says he said peace be still, but in actuality, he just said one word, and that word was shalom. Shalom comes the, from the word shalem. So shalom coming from the word shalem, and shalem meaning wholeness. You see, people in this world are jealous and they envy and they sin and all kinds of things. Why? because they don't have a sense of wholeness and completeness within them. And so there's all these problems going on in their mind. And then the enemy, who's Satan, you know, and all the demons and, and the forces that be, and people that choose to uh, be an instrument of wickedness, you know, they're all doing their thing, you know. This is all just one big game, really. It's a very serious game, and heaven and hell are eternal. But, you know, it's a big game. So you need to keep a sense of humor and laugh often because laughter is a good medicine. You need to be of good cheer because he said, hey, be of good cheer. He said that. He also said, I give you peace that no one else can give to you. Um, he told Joshua to be strong and courageous. He tells us to put on the garments of love and to do everything out of love. Um, all good things. I just want to do a quick little thing here. I want to show you what my cat did. That's my kitty, uh, Chloe. She did that. Leo's over there smelling something. He's my other cat. He's black. He's like a little black panther. And Chloe, she's like a little tiger. Anyhow, so I just wanted to um, give a little information there about the word shalom. How it comes from the word shalim and why there's so much sin in the world and death because sin leads to death and it's because people don't feel whole they don't feel um loved and you know moms and dads a lot of them are really lousy and so the children grow up and they're messed up and you know, and then it's the sin, you know, just like, like leeches, you know, like a, like a horrible plague just rips through the soul and settles in the heart of people. And it's tragic. It's, it's very, it's very sad. But um, that's why I like to listen to Mozart, um, you know, sometimes. And, and more importantly, I like to read God's word every day and spend some time in prayer and let his spirit, you know, keep me focused on the creator, the one who made everything. And I also had an interesting thought, you know, like um, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and then the tree of life. It's interesting because you could think about, like, the Lord himself reading to little children the word of God, you know, and him teaching them and loving them and helping them to know that they are safe and and awesome and, and everything you know and then you have satan you know transforming himself into an angel of light and coming and gathering people to himself and and he's reading um the bible you know but his version of it and <laughs> That's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I don't know. It was just a thought. It's a little bit funny. Whatever. Anyhow, um, I hope that some of this may have been helpful to some people today. And with that, I bid you all shalom. 
and Godspeed.